it's Sarah and I hopefully will I'm gonna do a demo I've been playing with my soldering iron I wasn't very pleased with what I what I made as far as jewelry goes I didn't have success the way I'd hoped um, however I kept playing I got a different soldering iron because it turns out the one I had really just wasn't hot enough um, and so I'm putting the jewelry making aside for the moment I did just order from Amazon um, some slides though I had mentioned in my previous video that I bought some slides and these are just glass that I cut myself um, I bought slides at what is it Hobby Lobby and they had a little bit of white on there so you could write on it sorry about my hands I have sharpie all over me and all types of stuff glass work and soldering is really rough on your hands so sorry it's not a it's not a manicure video um, but I managed to make this pendant uh, from the glass that I cut because the slides I bought weren't good so I ordered some of those as well as some copper foil that is a quarter inch this is my copper foil is seven thirty seconds wide which I think it's probably close to a quarter inch it might even be bigger I think it's a just under anyway um, just because I wanted to make sure because I had to use two layers of foil on some of the things anyway uh, I mean I'm not thrilled with the job I did although I went to Pinterest you guys I, I was never a huge I always Google everything but Pinterest was awesome so I found some great inspiration there and continued and I will show you what I made I found a great artist her name is uh, Diane McGee and I believe she is probably in moved on from her stained glass work but I found a lot of her when you when you google her name um, a lot of her work comes up under images and it's basically stuff like this so kind of abstract very colorful art so and she uses these wire coil things right so I made these out of wire and I was thrilled like I just had to do it now she also does decorative solder which I have no idea how to do I am a beginner at this um, but for this was my first one and I love how it turned out I basically um, I didn't even know that I was going for a heart because I would have probably tweaked it a little bit although I love it um, it, it turned out by the time I was done looking at it I thought wow that looks like a heart right so then for this one I went in and purposely did a heart which I don't like as much I mean don't get me wrong I still like it like I think if I would have left this piece of yellow off I would have liked it better it would have been more abstract looking or you know not as perfectly heart shaped I think I was trying too hard with that one um, so now look at the difference here though these coils they're not supposed to be filled in with solder you see how it's open and then she actually dangles um, little beads off of her work as well she, hers were garden um, posts and garden spikes and things like that I think but look what I did here I completely filled in my coil with solder so that's not that was unintentional I did not want that to happen but I just was way too heavy-handed with the solder and it just filled in like that so um, I have another piece ready to go that's very abstract that I'm gonna probably do on camera but I just wanted to show you a few things now before you get started now all I did was I went downstairs and found as much of my uh, clear glass see this is opaque but it has an or like an or a b on it i tried to find pieces that were clear to play with right um, i really had very little yellow which is such a gorgeous color in stained glass uh, i had a lot of this blue anyway so i cut it up into random shapes and 
and just started playing. And I think I'll get the hang of it more as I go. But I ground all this out. So here I have all the cutting stuff is down in the basement. And I have a cut, cut. I'm, I'm pretty cut up because I am not gentle, right? I say that all the time. Um, but I did grind the edges on these. I have a grinder, but they're still sharp edges, you know. But they're, they're much less sharp now. Um, so these are pretty much ready to be foiled if I wanted to. So I'm going to take a piece. Uh, I'm going to take this yellow piece. It's much smaller and it's square. Let me just slide that over. And this is copper foil. And this is what the solder adheres to. Copper is very good metal uh, for this, uh, the solder, which is in my box under there. I'll get it out in a minute. Anyway, so I just take the foil and you want it to be equal on all both sides and the middle so I just kind of center it on the foil tape it has a sticky back to it right you start kind of there and just work your way around down the center of the tape and then we're gonna um, burnish it down Oopsie. Sorry, I'm just looking at it to make sure that I can get it down the center. Pushing it down as I go, and then we're going to kind of, um, oh, it's a little twisted, uh, fold it up. So I'm just going to grab some scissors. So there's quite a lot of work to this, so that's why when you do a craft as a hobby and then you decide you want to sell your work it's so hard to figure out the price because I mean in this case there's there's blood involved now <laughs> it's fun I do it for fun and when it stops being fun I don't do it I honestly don't I mean <clears throat> when I saw Diane's work so see I'm just squeezing one side and then I'm gonna kinda of bevel the edge you go all the way up to the corner and then push over so it, it'll bevel it not all my corners are perfect and I don't mind I'm not a perfectionist but it will be good enough then I have this fancy tool which you could absolutely use um, a bone folder and you just roll this along the edges get it really nice and stuck down and one thing I've noticed as well, doing it this freestyle way, the only other stained glass I've ever done has been with a pattern. So it's a lot more precise. And yeah, you, I mean, maybe not as precise as quilting. There is a little bit of wiggle room, but you do want your, your tiles to line up. So straight on straight, you know, because then you're going to get a nice tight seam. You know, if there's gaps like that, it's, you know, it won't hold up as well. So for these little pa um, panels, I'm calling it, it's not a panel, it's a little uh, sun catcher. Um, there may be gaps in between, but they're not, especially here, like see this, the solder actually ended up filling in between the round gems. Now the gems are just these gems that I get at, um, I've used them for my dragon's eyes. I've used them for uh, mosaics when I did mosaics, but they're just beautiful and they're hard to find. And you get this cobalt blue pretty easily um, and the yellow, but red is hard to come by. And the red I have in here actually, that's orange. Orange is pretty. Is, uh, see, I don't have a red. Where the heck did my red go? Oh, I was going to use these too. These were pretty cool, but I just haven't tried them yet. Oh, here's the red. This is actually coated. It's a clear gem, and there's a coating on top. So I, I don't prefer those. I, I like a solid glass bead, right? So the other thing is, I've also ground this down. You can see that there's an edge, like a rim, that I've gone around so that the tape will adhere to that. And you do it the same way. Just take your tape and center it. 
pulling it out a little bit here on the gem so that it's on it's equal on both sides so I kind of take that little lip that I've created with my grinder and center that and just push down as I go because I love the effect that these gems give in the stained glass so um, again you know I just must not have a very wild imagination but when I see color like that I that really inspires me the bright colors that she used but I never I, I think I have actually used a um, I must have used a gem like this on some piece of stained glass around here but for the most part if I needed a circle I cut a circle um, but these gems I just love dimension and you know the sky's the limit you can do whatever your imagination uh, tells you to do you know but I get my inspiration from others I am very thankful to them for sharing their ideas and um, then I can incorporate that into my work as well so basically you just get that burnished down really well and it will adhere when you use the solder even though it's a uh, an orb right so I wanted to show you one other thing um, it'll look much neater as well if you trim your uh, see this one actually went on really good let's see I don't have any overlap sometimes on your fold you'll have a little overlap and you just trim it to make it look even so especially on a pendant you know you would want to trim now this has been um, soldered already so but that's it that's basically how you would get your tiles ready to be soldered all right so I'm gonna attempt to do a little demo here so I'm gonna go away actually I don't need to go away I'm just gonna plug in my soldering iron I think I will oh it's plugged in holy cow wait a minute be right back all right it wasn't plugged in I had the the plug looked weird so I just plugged it in. I have this cork board type thing. It's actually, I believe, a piece of ceiling tile, like an old ceiling tile that my husband and I cut. I have a couple of them. I have a big one because you need your whole glass piece to be able to get laid out on there. So however big your piece is. So I, we cut this one down smaller. Um, I have, a, I have paper under here for no real reason. Just, it's messy. The flux is messy. Now, flux is this. I have gel flux. Um, it's quick soldering on copper foil, lead, or zinc came. And um, I'm using this little mason, whoop, mason jar for my flux. And I just put a little bit on the bottom. You don't need a ton. I have a brush to apply the flux. So I get some on my brush. Um, so what I've done here, now these pegs I bought at the stained glass store. Um, and you, you need to get your piece lined up how you want it, pretty tight in there. Now some of it, it's not exact. And if you look, I'm going to come in here. You can see that, that this yellow piece, for instance, isn't but right up against the red because of this orange bead I, that could be a little smaller probably and it would you know tweak a little over but anyway for for this project it's going to be fine you just want to make sure there's a close enough um uh, oh dear kiwi's with me she just yelled right in my ear close enough seam that you'll be able to get solder in there all right um, so really all you need, and then you need your solder, and I'm going to use um, my 6040. Hey Matt, Hello. I'm making a video. Um, and I was using, I on these other two pieces, I was using my, uh, the other solder that I got for jewelry, which is uh, lead-free solder. I got it at Hobby Lobby, 30 bucks. It's not cheap. 
So we'll see the difference. This um, I've worked with before plenty of times, so for now I'm just going to go with it. Um, Kiwi, what's the matter? Are you okay? I'm going to check and see if my soldering iron is hot. Tinning my iron. You know what? I'm making a mess of uh, my mat here. I have a, what is this called? Like a, it's a self-healing mat and I'm getting solder on everything. I am a mat. I'm very messy. So you know what? I'm just going to move over a little bit more so I'm centered. I think that's a good view. Now, I'm not an expert and I actually forget the proper way to do this. But for right now, I'm just going to start on this blue piece and put some flux to connect the, those two pieces and hope for the best. So I'll put that in there and I'm just going to put some solder down and you want it to be a bead. A bead looks prettiest, right? But if it's flat, it's okay. And you can come always fix it, but that looks like a pretty nice bead. And the solder just kind of uh, flows. See, I left a, a blob there. So that's not too bad. And then it dries. You can almost see that kind of dry, right? So let's put some down this seam. Connect those. And down here now, let me see. This does look a little distant, but let's connect it and connect this one. So here, 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 and here. That's probably a lot, but I'm gonna try it. Oh, see, it's not a bead. It kind of went flat on me. Because I want it to be a bead. Sometimes if it falls through the crack, it because your, uh, your seam is too thick, it'll it flattens out and it won't be a bead so maybe you have to fill it up I don't know I haven't done this in a while it's been a while so and then I just rub the soldering iron on that salmonac block whatever it's called and it makes smoke but see then your iron is nice and tinned they call it so I'm going to pull a little more solder out and I'm going to do the seam up here. Kiwi looks excited. See, she gets excited when I start talking. And I'm going to get this gem adhered. So I'll do those three sides and this side. Hope for the best. See, it seems like it fell through, so it didn't bead. And if there's no um, flux there, it won't stick. So there has to be flux for the solder to adhere in the first place. When I'm done, I go around and I put silver. So all those edges, I'll go around at the end. Once everything's connected, I go around at the end. So I need flux on these gems and then I should be able to remove it from the once all the pieces are connected I'll be able to remove it and I'll do the back I'll be able to adhere well I want to try and do these little coils again but I don't want to mess them up so we'll see how it goes I'm sure I'll try because I do like the way they look. So, see, I just put a dent in that. But you can always reheat the solder and fix your, um, when you put dents in it, see that little dent right there? All right, so I think, oops, I didn't put any right in the middle. But once I do the back, it should, it'll all be secure, but like this looks yucky. 
oh, I should have refluxed it. But now I fixed it. All right. So once I remove all these pegs, I think I'll feel better about uh, the way it looks. Um, and in this case, you know, I think the color is really what uh, I love. So I'm not worried about the soldering as much. I mean, yeah, you want it to look nice and not be all bumpy and stuff like that. But now this is hot because it will uh, conduct heat. You no, know, I'm no scientist. <laughs> uh, and really, like, like I say, I'm a beginner. I'm new. I'm not, I have not been doing this for a while at all. But yeah, I can feel that heat. But it's because I'm impatient. I can't wait. So now I'm just wiping the flux off because it's very sticky and messy. And I'll probably flip this over just so that I have a, a clean space. Oh, but I love it so much. I love stained glass. I've just always loved it. So see, like, see this bump? My wet wipes are, um, but this bump up here, I can, I'll fix that at the end. I'm going to go around and do all the sides. Um, so I mean, it doesn't look too bad. So should I do the back first? I think I'm going to do the back. I like to do the back as a um, extra, it keeps it nice and solid, right, as a st stabilizing. So I'm just going to run solder along all these seams again. But you know what, it can loosen it as well. It can loosen the seams. When you reheat it, it loosens it. Look, I just did it all over the place, so watch out, Kiwi. All right, you know what, I just want to make sure I have enough solder. And that's the sound the flux makes. It's like a bubbly noise. If I didn't flux there, it won't stick, and that I hate when that happens because I, you can make a mess. All right, that looks pretty good. I don't know if I fluxed up here. Let's see. Kiwi, do you like? She probably doesn't need to be smelling this right now because birds have sensitive um, smells. Hey, Matt. Can you come get her for me? Sure. Yeah, because I don't want her to smell this. Sure. Poo. Definitely stinks. Just let her get on your shoulder. Go ahead, Kate. Come on. I'll get her. Thank you, Matt. See, I'm just tinning it now and letting the solder just flow into all those places that it hasn't touched yet. And I think. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it is the back. So now I gotta turn it and do the sides and any of the nooks and crannies that um, it hasn't touched yet. So if you look, well I didn't still didn't get that. There's a big lump of solder that fell through. So I can come back and fix anything that fell through. As, as long as there's flux on it, um, I'll be able to fix it. All right. 
So I'm going to hold it on the side and start right here on the blue and flux it and then I'm going to try and fix and make that nice and straight now. We'll see how that goes because you have to use gravity like so because the, the solder is going to fall. So see how that did? And then go down. So you see how I'm just letting gravity pull it. But now I haven't done here yet. And I'm going to let this come off. So it's a little tricky when you're not um, a professional, you know? I, I don't really know what I'm doing. That's why I like to know what I'm doing. Like, you know what I, you know what I mean. Not, oh boy, that doesn't sound right. I gotta, I gotta put flux on here, but let me wipe it. Because you do get um, a black residue um, but I think I've done that pretty well it looks pretty smooth I think I'd like to fix it around the gem but I'll come back and that looks okay the bead but I could probably make a nicer bead but like this is a little jacked up here I'm gonna fix that I'll go over once I do the sides I'll go over everything one more time but look at all that solder that's falling off see I don't know if that's good or bad all right so let me put some flux along this area it hasn't been done yet and do that I just keep rubbing it on there and I can take some solder from here and use it but I don't really need it because I'm going to use what's on here already let gravity do the job so I think I'm going to do that on the other side flux it and mostly right here hopefully I'm in the shot right here down this side and then I'm going to come back on top and fix everything, but I think we're good. Where were we on this side, right? I think we did it. All right. I'll move this out of the way.
feel some bumps under here now. So I think I'm going to try and show you how to, how I adhere the um, hanger as well, which that's not my specialty. So let me look at this now and see. The back has a bump right here. I just want to flatten it out. See, I didn't have flux over there. If you don't have flux, it won't. It just messes it up. So you got to make sure you have to remember you to put flux. I've done that a couple times. All right, that should be nice and flat now. Yeah. Um, so there's a couple options too. I could hang it. It could go this way. It could, it could go any way at all because it's a um, abstract, right? So I could do, let's see, I kind of want to fix, let's see, I don't know, should I worry about it? It is together. Let me see how these look. Yeah, I mean, there's like a dent here. I don't think I was really worried about it, so I think we're good. Let me look, I really like it like this. So, and I don't like this though. I want to try and fix that. Let's try and fix it. And by fixing, I just want it to look uniform. And not really sure I know how to do that. Like, say, be uniform, but I'm going to try. So I'm going to put some solder and make a bead. I don't know that I did anything. All right, forget it. Forget about that. Now I have these little uh, jump rings. I got a bunch of these at um, the, the uh, stained glass store. And that's all I use for my, my hanger. Just have to decide where I'm gonna hang, hang it from. That could be a good spot. Um, I kind of like it like that. Now the other thing I had was these, right? So let's have a look at these too. These are just little, I used this um, wire I've had, tin wire, 18, whatever, I don't know. And I got that at the, uh, it's in a town down the road. Anywho, so you can take these and add them to your piece and make them make your piece look super cool I think it does but it's tricky and you can actually have these um, going off the edge a little bit and then you can hang beads from it so let me think 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 what I want to do and I really don't want to um, mess them up or anything. I just want to adhere it nice and gently. Like that looks so cool. And then kind of like that. I don't even know if you guys can see it. It looks better when it goes across. Uh, I kind of like that. Now, I don't know how to do it. That's the only thing. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to put solder first and then stick it in the solder or just put it on top. So I think, um, I don't know. I really don't. I really don't know what to do. But I'm going to give it a shot anyway. I'm going to give it a shot. Um, I'm just going to leave them on the piece and heat up the solder and see if it sticks. 
and hope for the best. I did it on my first one because I probably just didn't think it to overthink it. You know, I think I'm overthinking it now. I'm definitely um That looks kind of cool. I think I'm going to go for that. So I'm going to put a little flux here, which I don't want it to totally cover that. So that might be a mistake. And some flux here. And here. And here. And really just try not to um, I want it to bend a little bit so that it is touching. And then I'm going to tin my iron. And I'm going to try and just do a tiny bit of solder. Am I in the shot? So right here. See, I don't like how that looks. But I think it's on there. I think it's because the wire is bent in such a way that it's... I, You know, there's decorative soldering, and I have no idea how they do that. But that's adhered. And I didn't mess up my... Um, I didn't mess it up too bad. I can fix that. I'm going to try it here. So here, here, I should just flux the whole thing because who knows what will happen. This is live, and I'm sniffing, sorry. I, ha I sniff a lot. I got a comment about that, that I was sniffing too much. Um, so let's try it. It seems to be taking. Uh, oh, I don't want to get crazy. But I think I did it. I think I adhered it. And then we're just going to do this one. And mainly I want it right there. You just, it's better if you just put flux places because the fl if there's no flux there, then you're going to have a, an issue. All right. So. Yeah, it went inside the little swirl, which I really don't want it to do. That's good, though. Uh, oh, looks like that worked too. I think I did it pretty good, guys. I'm pretty excited about that. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to give it a little wipe and see what we have and if I have any cleanup and then I'm going to adhere the jump ring. I really love adding those extra coils like that. Thank you so much Diane McGee. I love that so much and I would have never thought of it like I'm not because I'm not like a wire artist or anything but they're on there and they don't look too bad. Um, doesn't like it's kind of lumpy here I'm gonna fix that. Just let the solder run off. You just heat it up and it, it'll fall off. That looks good. See, I, I didn't have flux there. It won't melt if, it, if there's no flux. Much better. I sing. I get like Oprah when I'm excited. Now there's like a bubble right here that came on the side, so I'm going to try and just like gravity, take it 
take care of that. Other than that, I like it. I think I did okay. I don't love that. All right, so for the jump ring, I just have to figure out where I want it. Like, which way do I want it to hang? For this one, I put it kind of here, so it hangs. I love this one. This one was my first one. It's so, so cute. Um, but I think I, if I knew what I was doing at the time, I would have changed it, like I said. But um, for what it is, I think it's super cute. Um, so I put that one there. And on this one, I did the same thing. I kind of put it a little, you know, so it's not exactly straight. <clears throat> Uh, so for this one, it can go any way. So I'm just going to... This baby wipe has a bunch of... Ooh, ooh, my nose is itchy. It has little fibers that keep getting wrapped around the... Come on, how did that get all the way in there? That's not... That's annoying. I must have uh, pulled it through. I'll get it. Trust me. I won't let that be there. Oh, I got it. <sighs> okay. So this was the top. And It's just gonna have to go like this so let's see I kind of I like to tuck these in an area where there's like at least two sides you see how that is I could do it like on that V so that's really what I like to do so right there I think right here but then it's gonna hang like this if it's right there it's gonna hang like that and I like that so I think I'm gonna put it right there and this does have an open area so you just want to make sure that's um which which yeah right here um that's facing down so that gets solder in it and i used to let's see to hold that i use my little these kind of pliers and i hold it like this and going to go like right there. So we have to flux everything. I'm using my left hand to flux. Flux that. And then I'm going to get a tiny bit of solder. And did it. As long as the um, my I have these little rubber what are they you know I'll show you Oops, they're these things cups suction cups with a hook on it. Cute. So that's it, guys. How cute is that? I should actually try and take a shot. I'll come back and try to take a shot of these hanging. I love them. I love them. Now, these are the colors that I had. So next time I go to Hobby Lobby, because Hobby Lobby sells stained glass, um, I'm going to look for some. And I like the clear, because I have a lot of um, opaque glass. But I like the see-through glass for this. Um, so I am going to, you know what, I really want to try to get that out of there too. Let me, while I'm on air too, I'm going to see if I can flux this and see if I can let gravity 
pull the solder out. Yeah, but I also loosened it up. But I did. I got it off there. I got I emptied it a little bit. Can you see that? And I'm going to try and do it again on this one. And it might come off, but I'm going to try it. My hand is getting hot. The glass gets very hot. And I want gravity to uh, that one didn't work as well. I'll just leave it. Gotta leave it alone. Alright you guys, so I'll be right back with these hanging on the window. All right, so here they are. I hope you can see them okay, but they're little. They're only, um, you know, they're pretty small. But let me come in on this guy, and I like the way he's hanging. By you know, that's a good one because that's very abstract. This one, it's hanging pretty good, and this one, eh, it's a little crooked. But that was the most abstract one, and this isn't doing them justice. This window. I don't know. They're cute, though. All right, you guys. I'll be back. Thank you so much, Diane McGee, for your creative glass shares. All right. Thanks for watching.